Let's talk about CSS overflow. Sometimes you have too much content inside your element. Take a look at these two divs. One of them has a lot of content. The other one does not really have a ton. What if I added, let's say max height, 200 pixels. It's gonna go crazy. Look at this. I mean, the whole thing gets out of control. The content is leaking. Let me remove the second div actually. So that's only the first div. And that's where CSS overflow comes in handy. By default, it is visible. And that's what you see here. When it says it's visible, it shows you everything that's inside your element. If you say hidden, it's just gonna cut off the content where the 200 pixels stops. Not really great for text. It's okay if you have images and stuff in there and you don't care about the rest of the image, you can do overflow hidden. Scroll, oh, well that's similar to hidden. Nothing really changed, but I can scroll within that container, right? That's pretty awesome. Overflow has X and Y. So if you wanna scroll in one direction or the other, you can use one or the other. That's CSS overflow.